What's going on guys? Kelsey here with White Lightning Media. I wanted to stop by and bring you quite possibly the hottest tip of the century. Now when it comes to your content, you might not always have access to a really expensive camera or a bunch of equipment or even a photographer for that matter. What I want to talk to you today about is content with your cell phone. We often forget how not only expensive these things are, but with that comes a lot of really powerful perks. So I've stopped by a couple clients lately and, and I'll be honest, a lot of people don't know their way around these, these iPhones. Uh, we, we know how to take pictures. We know how to capture a moment, but can you take a picture that grabs someone's eye and, and they wonder if that's done with you know, a DSLR or uh, an iPhone? So what it boils down to in, in my opinion is angle of the dangle, you're telling a story and lighting. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over that here with a, a pile of shrapnel that I have. I'm gonna bring the camera over here. We're gonna look through my phone and we're gonna go through the, the little tips and tricks here on how to take a wicked photo with your iPhone. Okay, so we're gonna stick to these three rules, the angle of the dangle, tell a story, and the lighting. So we've got our lighting kind of set up there. That's, that's these two little computer ambient lights there. They switch colors. We're just gonna go with regular kind of warm looking lighting. Um, and we're gonna put one behind and one kind of in front. Uh, now I've got my own key light that's kind of shining over here. Uh, you could use the lights in wherever you are. So first things first, wipe off the camera on your phone. All too often, greasy fingers all over your camera ruins a picture. We're gonna go into portrait mode. Now you're going to hold on your subject and you're gonna find that angle. So we're gonna go low here. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna adjust your lighting, bring it down, make it a little bit more moody. And I just took the picture and this is what I ended up with. Okay, so all you have to do is take that into your, your phone editing. Uh, once you're in the portrait mode, you can change different sorts of lighting. I like to go with the contour. And then we're gonna go over and just make a couple adjustments. End up with a completed photo that looks like this. So there you have it. If you stick to those three little steps, angle of the dangle, telling a story and lighting and adjust those settings within your iPhone the way I showed you, you too can be taking DSLR quality photos with your iPhone. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube. And if you like this video and you wanna see more content like this, comment below. Have a fantastic something, day, night, whatever it is, bye.